Welcome to another exciting teaching from 26 West Church Kids. We hope you enjoy learning more about our great God and grow and enjoying Him in your everyday lives. Be sure to check out the Parent Weekly at 26westchurch.org slash parents for more information from our teaching today. Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Jamie, and today I brought my friend Reed. Reed's here with me, and we want to talk to you about the big God story and about how Jesus is alive. I'm so excited. Um, so it's time to hear part of the big God story. Reed, do you know somebody else who likes to hear the big God story? Hamilton. That's right, Hamilton the Hedgehog. Let's call him out quietly and see what happens, okay? On the count of three, let's all invite Hamilton to join us. Here we go. One, two, three. Hamilton, come out. Maybe we were too quiet? Yeah. Let's try again, but shouting this time, okay? Shall we? Okay, yeah. here we go. One, two, three. Hamilton, Hamilton come, out. come out. Hamilton, whoa, <laughs> whoa, hi Hamilton. You came out with a lot of energy. Oh, look what he's holding. You're holding a rock. Hamilton, is that part of the big God story? Ah, cool. I can't wait to find out how it's going to be part of it. Well, also today, we have a special friend. This is Henley the Hedgehog. Um, Henley is a friend of Hamilton's, and she's going to hang out for a minute while we get started. She's got bunny ears on today because Jesus is alive, and he made bunnies. And bunnies are alive too, so that's why she's got those on. So we're going to talk about the Big God story, um, and I want to know, are you ready to hear the Big God story? Yeah. Hamilton, are you ready to hear the Big God story? How about you at home? Are you guys ready to hear the Big God story? I hope they are. Well, I have a question for everybody. Where do we find the Big God story? Bible. That's right. We find the Big God story in the Bible. God gave us the big God story in the Bible so that we can find about, out about him and his son, Jesus, which is what we're going to talk about today. So cool. Hamilton, I know that you love to dig, dig into God's word. Isn't that right? Yeah, and me too. But before we do that, let's pause. Let's quiet our hearts and quiet our minds and let's pray and let's invite God to teach us, okay? All right, let's close our eyes. Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that you love us. Thank you for being alive and inviting us to be part of your family. We love you and we pray this in your name. Amen. Okay, so I want to tell you a story. It starts out a little bit sad, but I promise God has a plan and it gets better. Okay, so one day there were some people who didn't like Jesus and they said some really mean things to him. So they were mad at him. Oh, can you guys make a mad face? Mm, they were mad at him. Okay, so they said that Jesus wasn't God's son. They didn't believe it was true. So they even said that he wasn't our king. But we know that's not true. We know that Jesus is God's son and that he is our king. But these men didn't want to listen to Jesus and they didn't want to think that God was right. So they decided to kill Jesus. And it was a very, very sad thing. It was a terrible thing. And Jesus died. And we were all, they were all very sad when that happened. Can you guys make a sad face too? So sad. Well, Jesus did have to die on the cross so that he could take away our sins. Here's a picture of the cross. <clears throat> but wait, I told you there's more to the story, right? Mm -hmm. So the good news is that God had a special plan for Jesus. And after Jesus died, his friends took him to a tomb, which is basically like a big cave. And they wrapped Jesus in cloth and they laid him inside of it. And the cloth was really heavy. That's how they did that back when uh, people died. And they went inside the tomb and then they rolled this big giant stone in front of the tomb, like a big heavy door. Hamilton, is that why you brought your rock? Yeah, let's all pretend to roll the rock in front of the cave. Push it, it's really heavy because it's big. Good job. So they put him into the tomb and they rolled the rock in front of it and it closed the door. 
Okay, so the rock in the big God story was very, very big. Hamilton, what about your rock? Would you say his rock is big or little? It's kind of little, but it helps us understand the story, right? So his rock is pretty small, but there's more. Three days passed and then something special happened. Can we count to three? One, two, three. So the cool thing, on the third day, Jesus' friend Mary came to the tomb and she was going to do some work. And she saw that the huge rock was gone. The huge rock was gone from the tomb and it was rolled away. When she looked inside the tomb, it was empty. And she was wondering where he was, and she was sad that he wasn't there. Can we all make a sad face? She was sad. So, she was so sad that she even cried. Henley, do you want to sit down on the side for a minute? Thanks for coming and hanging out. I'll set you over here. Good job. She's so cute, isn't she? So, just then, when she was sad and she was crying, two angels came and they talked to her and they said to Mary, why are you crying? They asked her why she was crying and she told them it was because Jesus was gone and she didn't know where he was. So then, this is a really good part, Mary turned around and she saw somebody. Who do you think she saw? Jesus. Yes, that's right. Mary saw Jesus, but she actually didn't know who he was. He said to her, a way to help her figure out who it was, he said her name. He hey, said Mary. 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 And all of a sudden <gasps> she knew it was Jesus and she was so happy. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Yay! Jesus is alive. Hooray! So let's all shout together, Jesus is alive. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus is alive! alive. Yes, he, he is alive. So Jesus told Mary to go and tell everybody that he was alive, so she did. So I want you guys to know, Jesus died on the cross to take away our sins, but that's only the beginning of the story. Then, three days later, he conquered death and he rose again because he is alive and he saved us from our sins. It was all part of God's big plan. God knew that Jesus would have to die for our sins, but he also knew that Jesus would come back to life, which is so super cool. Jesus wasn't dead anymore, he was alive. So when it was time, Jesus went back up to heaven to be with God the Father. Let's celebrate that Jesus is alive. Let's wave our hands in the air and say, Jesus is alive. Yay, Jesus is alive. It's such good news. Well, friends, um, I want you to remember that Jesus is alive. It's so good. Hamilton, thank you so much for coming. And we will see you next week, okay? Bye. All right. The last thing I want to share with you today is a verse from the Bible. This is found in Luke chapter 24, verse 6a. It says, He is risen. What good news. Well, this week, I'm so glad you guys took time to join us and hear about how Jesus is alive. And today, you guys can look in your Parent Weekly and you can find a color sheet to go with this lesson. And you can also find an activity to do to help learn more about the story of Easter and how Jesus is alive. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye. bye.